group sculpt layers. So I have a variety of layers up here for my face, and I'd like to group them together. To do that, I'm going to go up here into my sculpt uh, area, and I go up to this button up here, and this is the group button. It creates a new group called Group 1. I can double click on it, or I could right click and say rename. I just might name it something like face. I'll hit enter. Now, to put the layers on that grouping that I want, I just select one and I drag it onto the face folder. I can grab, uh, pick with my left mouse button, drag it onto the face folder, and same thing with the veins. I pick on it with my left mouse button, I drag it onto the face uh, uh, folder, and I can even do uh, one that's on a different subdivision level. So I can drag it up onto face, let it go, and everything's under my face then. So uh, I have created a new group at this point, uh, and I can turn on and off the visibility of this group by just clicking on this button right here. And this now then uh, turns off, on and off the visibility of that group. Oops, sorry, of the group rather. Um, so uh, I turn on and off the visibility of the group and everything that's below this group turns on and off. So I can just pick on and off and turn that face group on and off. I can actually merge the sculpt layer group. So I can take all these layers and merge it into one. Uh, into one. So what I would do is I would highlight the face and right click, and I would say merge group. And when I merge the group, then all those layers come together as one. Now, I'm not gonna do this because one of the things you should note that if you merge the group, you can add undo it or redo. So all the undo and redo manipulations are lost in your layer groups. So I'm not going to do that. But you can if you wanted to. You could merge them all into one. Uh, into one. So uh, groupings are kind of handy. So we could group things in logical areas uh, in our model so that we can organize our model much better.